A young woman named Bobby deeply misses her boyfriend, Kale, because he hasn't been around for a while. She attempted to reach him by phone, but he didn't pick up, so she sent him a message. Out of the blue, Kale arrives at her place, leaving Bobby pleasantly surprised. After a while, he proposes to her, to which she happily accepts. They share a kiss and begin their loving moments. Later, Bobby heads to the mall to look for her wedding gown, while her friend Petty inquires about her readiness to spend the rest of her life with Kale. Bobby confesses his love for her and confirms her readiness to spend her future with Kale, after learning that Patty desires a new partner every night believing her life is too short to be spent with just one person. It's also discovered that Bobby was once very romantic in her younger years, dating new men every day. However, since Kale entered her life, she's undergone a significant change. Bobby also advises her friend to seek out a charming man and get married. Over time, it becomes clear that Bobby and Kale are not only in a romantic relationship, but also business partners. Today, Kale is attending a court hearing, accompanied by her assistant, who is there to back her up after she leaves her office. While waiting outside the court, Kale notices a bike, triggering memories of her youth when she used to enjoy cycling. Meanwhile, Bobby enters the court, feeling a bit anxious. Judge Marco arrives after observing Bobby, who becomes even more nervous due to the judge's appealing looks. Kale also joins the court proceedings, and it's rumored that her business is involved in fraudulent activities with another firm called Gold, which is the reason for the legal notice they received. Following that, Kale presents several pieces of evidence to the court to support his case. And upon realizing that the judge found no evidence of fraud in Kale's company, the judge rules in their favor. This leads to Kale giving Bobby a hug, right when Bobby was looking at the judge with affectionate eyes. A few moments later, Kale had to leave for a business trip, which is why he said his goodbyes and departed that evening. Bobby was preparing for her bachelor party, which is why she also invited her assistant, Tiago, who is also her closest friend. However, Tiago declined the invitation, wanting to leave behind his old life and relationships, including selling his beloved bike. Then, we witnessed the bachelor party where only female guests were present then. A male guest joined them and began dancing in front of them, eventually taking off his shirt while all the girls were having a good time. They all presented Bobby with bachelor party gifts. One of the gifts deeply touched her as it contained some intimate photos of Kale with another woman. After that, Bobby secluded herself in a restroom, leaving her friend Patty worried. Later, Tiago arrived and convinced her to come out. Subsequently, Bobby emerged from the restroom, but he had a change of heart and decided to seek retribution against Kale for her anger. She had gathered her friends at Kale's workplace to gather more information about the woman she was involved with. Meanwhile, the security guard at the entrance was obstructing their entry. The trio managed to persuade the guard that Bobby was married to his employer, which was the reason for the gifts Bobby had brought for his boss, which they intended to keep in his office. Consequently, the guard allowed them access. However, the guard decided to accompany them. Patty, meanwhile, managed to distract the guard and led him to another room where she engaged in a romantic encounter. On a different note, Patty began her investigation in Kale's office and discovered all the details about the woman in the files. Upon learning that the woman had been with Kale for two years, Bobby became extremely furious and began destroying the office in a fit of rage. At the same time, the guard began to question his actions after hearing the noise of destruction, suspecting that Patty was somehow keeping him occupied. Then after some time, the four of them emerged from their rooms and bid farewell to the guard. Subsequently, the three of them settled into the car. Bobby, feeling a sense of satisfaction, planned to seek revenge on Kale who had wronged her. However, her mood quickly shifted as she realized the gravity of Kale's actions. Many days later, Bobby found herself still in tears, unable to let go of the incident with Kale. One day, Patty, noticing her distress, offered to give her a fresh makeover. The transformation was stunning, and Bobby felt a renewed sense of confidence. This newfound beauty led her to reconsider her business relationship with Kale. Bobby then visited Judge Marco to submit her case, forgetting to bring it with her during the hearing. Upon seeing Bobby's new allure, Judge Marco began to develop a fondness for her. After Bobby emerged from the court with her case, Kale approached her, apologizing for his past behavior. Bobby, however, requested that he leave her be. While Kale wasn't paying attention, the judge arrived after noticing him and left shortly thereafter. 
Judge Marco and Bobby then headed to a club where they began chatting. It was during this time that we noticed a girl looking at Marco, prompting him to approach her. Meanwhile, Bobby exited the club and began his journey home. On the way, she made a call to her friend, sharing the events of her day. Upon Bobby's return, she discovered her house had been ransacked indicating a break-in. This incident left her in a state of panic, leading her to call Tiago for help. After a while, Tiago arrived, and during their conversation, Bobby mentioned Judge Marco, expressing her fear of him. Tiago advised her to avoid him, and reassured her that their friendship was strong and nothing would change between them. After their talk, Tiago left. Bobby decides to fully embrace her life, leading her to purchase her old bicycle to relive her past experiences. The following day, she becomes a member of the biker club and embarks on a journey with them. It's during this trip that she discovers one of the bikers is Judge Marco at night. Bobby and Marco engage in deep conversations and eventually begin a close relationship. The next morning, Marco leaves Bobby alone and continues his journey. Meanwhile, one of the bikers informs Bobby that Marco is an unusual man, advising her to stay away from him which leaves Bobby puzzled. Later, while at her office, Bobby receives a cryptic message that includes secret videos of her with Judge Marco, leaving her feeling uneasy and confused. Bobby suspects Kale of trying to sabotage her life, but also wonders if Tiago might be behind it, given her rejection. A few days later, Bobby investigates Kale's laptop and finds evidence of his involvement in illegal activities and fraud, confirming the accusations against his company. This discovery prompts Bobby to contact Tiago, suggesting they report the matter to the police. In the meantime, Marco invites Bobby to his house, where they spend quality time together, deepening their bond. Bobby finds herself returning to Marco's house more frequently, enjoying their time together almost daily. Yet, on another evening, the same lady appeared before Marco, who had been observing her at the club. This lady was Paula, who had been Marco's spouse before Bobby discovered his marital status. Upon learning of Marco's marriage, Paula became enraged and departed from his residence on her bicycle. A few moments later, Bobby, consumed by anger, pedaled recklessly and ended up in a crash, resulting in Paula's injuries. After several weeks of hospitalization, Paula made a full recovery and returned home. It was at this point that Marco visited her, offering his apologies and suggesting they go together to discuss his circumstances. They returned to the hospital, where Bobby learned about Marco's daughter, who was suffering from a serious illness. Paula had been taking various drugs during her pregnancy, which led to the daughter's condition. This revelation brought Bobby a sense of closure. At a later time, Marco was reviewing CCTV footage in an attempt to learn more about the individual who had damaged Bobby's bicycle. Marco requested a device from his assistant to monitor the individuals near Bobby. Eventually, we come across Kale, who has suffered severe violence at the hands of someone, and at the same moment, Tiago is with him, making it clear that Tiago has been involved in criminal activities with a gang since Bobby's laptop was stolen by the gang. The gang members have been on the hunt for Tiago and Kale hoping to extort money from them. Meanwhile, Tiago had plans to eliminate Bobby, but Marco overheard their discussions because Marco was monitoring Bobby's friends. Marco continued to call Bobby, despite her phone being on silent, and she was on her way to a police station with Tiago to report Kale. Suddenly, Tiago kidnaps her from her vehicle and takes her with him. At the same time, Bobby's whereabouts were tracked through an app, which is why Marco obtained Bobby's location from Patty and began following them. Meanwhile, Tiago led Bobby to a secluded forest where Kale was excavating a hole. They planned to murder Bobby and bury her there. While Tiago informed Kale of this plan, Kale hesitated to carry it out because he still harbored feelings for her. Additionally, Tiago became furious with him and took the gun shooting him instead of burying him. As he was about to carry out the murder, Bobby's friend Marco arrived and engaged in a fight with Tiago. During the altercation, Marco was shot and injured. At that moment, Tiago was on the verge of shooting Bobby, but his assistant appeared from behind and shot him. In the end, Marco fully recovered, and Bobby and Marco got married, leading to a joyful life. The movie concludes here.